Welcome back. Oh yeah! Today I'm going to show you how to plant corn the easy way without using a tiller, without doing a lot of digging, without breaking your back. This piece of land that I'm on right now is a building lot. It's going to be cleared. They're gonna put a house on it in a few months, but I have enough time to plant corn. I don't wanna put any hard work into this land. I don't wanna make nice, beautiful beds. I don't wanna have to go and make biochar. I don't wanna make a ton of compost. I just don't wanna put any work into this land, seriously, because I'm just gonna lose it. But corn, in about 100 days, is gonna make me corn. Now, when I talk about corn, I'm talking about grain corn. I'm not talking about sweet corn. Sweet corn is faster, but it's not quite as hardy. I don't know if this method will work well with sweet corn. This is for grain corn, which is where you get your flour and tortillas and cornbread and uh, chicha, you know, all that stuff. That's a survival corn. Sweet corn is not a survival crop. So we're gonna plant grain corn here, but we don't wanna put a ton of work into it. And corn is one of those magical crops that you can plant without a lot of work. This is a traditional method you'll see in Central America that I have picked up and I've been very surprised to see how wonderfully it works. Yo, watch me dig it, digging holes with my hoe. D to the G for show. I use the dust of the ground to plant the kernels I found. Aquaponics I reject, PVC don't respect. You can go ahead and try to insult this, but I ain't down with the aquacultists. Give me the ground and a bed and a mound. Won't deal with dead fish, you gotta hashtag resist. The siren song of the complicated pumps and filters. All the systems always going off kilter. Rounded beds with compost in the earth. Green thumbs up like Siskel and Ebert. I have some Oaxacan green dent corn, which is grown by the Zapotec Indians of Mexico. This is from uh, Annie's Heirloom Seeds. Nice little seed company. Look at this stuff. Isn't that cool? I mean, why would you grow the normal boring white or yellow stuff when you could grow green corn with bits of red in it? Gorgeous, huh? So this being an old traditional grain corn variety, I don't have a lot of it. I have, it says a minimum of 50 seeds. So I've got 100 seeds, I've got two packets of it. So we're gonna plant this in the holes and we'll see how it does here. This will be the first time I'm testing it out. We're gonna stick four seeds in each one of these holes. I know that seems crazy or excessive to jam them all in close like that, but we put space all around them this is what I learned from the natives. So that's what we're gonna do. This method here that I'm doing is really great when you open up new ground. And this is new ground. This whole area was underneath tree cover until uh, about two months ago, three months ago. Cleared this area out. So when you've got all that tree cover, you've got a whole ton of roots and Trying to dig beds in here has been miserable. I dug a few beds, but I figure, you know what? The rest of it is going to corn and pumpkins, which are two crops that are really great for new ground because you can just bust holes and plant, just like I'm doing right now, and they'll grow while the roots of the trees are rotting in the ground. And, uh, the corn will just grow around what's left of it, make its own way, and you'll get a yield off the land without having to break your back. It's an old dog alert. Now it's important to kick the dirt in with your foot. That's the traditional method. You have to show proper respect by kicking it in with your boot. You could plant corn two to three inches deep. This so one guy came over and was helping me plant, a local guy. I'm in Central America. And uh, he was throwing the corn in the holes and he just buried it in there like three to four inches. And I'm going, man alive, that stuff's gotta be dead. Sure enough, like a week later it came up. So corn goes deeper than you think it can. Normally it says like one to two inches or something like that on the packet probably stick to that but it's uh, tougher than I gave it credit for now if you have an area that is uh, 
like all covered with grass, right? Let's say you want to take part of your lawn and turn it into corn. Now I've seen and I have done where you take a, take a big area, like big area is just full of grass and weeds and everything else. Maybe it's three foot of grass and weeds, big empty spot uh, that's growing nothing edible for you. And you take that area and you get your string trimmer out or if you're really patient, you do it with a machete. And you uh, just go out there and butcher it. Just butcher it all the way down to ground level. Like burn it down to the ground, right? With the bottom of that string trimmer. Then you go and you hack holes in it, just like I did here. Hack yourself like one foot across holes. Plant the corn in it, and the weeds are gonna start to grow back. But, you can take the string trimmer around and attack that ground in between the corn every few weeks and it is going to grow and it's going to grow really well actually i've kind of got a random pattern going on here obviously i'm not paying much attention i'm thinking and kicking at the same time don't think and kick just kick without thinking Anyhow, if you've got a you got a piece like that, you got your grass or weeds or whatever, butcher it all the way down with a string trimmer, cut your holes three to four foot apart, plant four corn seeds in each hole, and then when the, the corn's gonna come up in about a week, about two to three weeks when the weeds start to grow back around it, come by again with your string trimmer, butcher it all down, knock all the stuff down except for the corn, and lay it out, and that corn is gonna do actually quite well. And when the corn gets taller, it will outgrow and overshade the weeds and you won't have to worry about weeding it anymore. One more. Respectfully planted with my foot. There we go. Now we've just planted a, what's that? 15 foot by 25 foot patch of corn in about 20 minutes. It's not very hard, works really well with grain corn. If you live in a more tropical climate, I have seen this done with pigeon peas as an intercrop. You throw a couple of pigeon pea seeds in with the corn. The corn grows and produces. You cut the corn down after it produces, the pigeon peas come up afterwards and they produce, and then you get two crops from the same space. You could probably do the same thing in your climate, wherever you are, by thinking of what might grow alongside it. Maybe you put a little bit of pole beans on in between. Maybe you leave a little more space and you go with kind of a three sisters garden thing where you grow some melons or some pumpkins on the ground in between the corn. But whatever you do, this is the really easy way to plant grain corn and to get it done without killing yourself. I went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head and drank spiced rum. Thank you.